Have you ever wondered if our universe is the only one? What if I told you that there might be countless other universes, each with its own laws of physics, its own history, its own reality? What if there are other versions of you out there, living different lives in these parallel universes, making different choices? Welcome to the concept of the multiverse, a theory that propels us beyond the boundaries of our own universe and into the realms of the infinite. It's a theory that challenges our understanding of reality and forces us to question, are we alone in the cosmos or are we just one of an infinite number of realities playing out across a vast multiverse? Join us as we embark on this mind-bending journey into the realms of the infinite. Let's dive into the fascinating world of multiverse theories. The concept of a multiverse is not a singular idea, but rather a collection of theories that propose the existence of multiple or even an infinite number of universes, including our own. First, let's talk about string theory. This theory suggests that the fundamental particles we observe are not zero-dimensional points, but one-dimensional strings. These strings vibrate at different frequencies, and these frequencies determine the particle's properties, like its mass and charge. But here's where it gets interesting. String theory requires the existence of extra dimensions that we don't experience in our everyday lives. Some versions of the theory suggest there could be many universes existing in these higher dimensions. Next, we have M-theory, a theory that unifies all consistent versions of superstring theory. The M in M-theory can stand for magic, mystery or membrane, depending on who you ask. In the context of multiverses, M-theory introduces the concept of a brain, which is a multidimensional object. Our universe could be thought of as a four-dimensional brain, three spatial dimensions and one time dimension, floating in a higher dimensional space. Other brains could be other universes with potentially different laws of physics. Now let's talk about quantum mechanics. The theory that describes the behavior of particles at the smallest scales plays a crucial role in our understanding of the multiverse. It introduces concepts that challenge our everyday experiences of reality and suggests that our universe might be just one of many. At the heart of quantum mechanics is the wave function. This mathematical function describes the state of a quantum system. It contains information about all possible states of a system and their corresponding probabilities. However, the wave function doesn't tell us which state we'll observe. Instead, it gives us a cloud of possibilities. This leads us to the Copenhagen interpretation, one of the oldest interpretations of quantum mechanics. According to this interpretation, the act of measurement causes the wave function to collapse from a cloud of possibilities into a single state. Before the measurement, a particle exists in a superposition of states, but after the measurement, it's found in one definite state. This interpretation introduces the concept of wave function collapse, but it doesn't explain how or why this collapse occurs. This is known as the measurement problem. The many worlds interpretation offers a different perspective. Proposed by Hugh Everett III in the 1950s, this interpretation suggests that all possible outcomes of a quantum measurement actually occur in some world or universe. When a measurement is made, the universe splits into multiple universes to accommodate each possible outcome. In this interpretation, there's no wave function collapse. Instead, every possible version of reality plays out in its own separate universe, leading to an ever-growing multitude of parallel universes. These interpretations of quantum mechanics provide a framework for understanding the multiverse. They suggest that our universe might be one of many, each playing out different versions of reality. However, these ideas are still the subject of ongoing debate and research in the scientific community. Finally, there's the concept of parallel universes. This idea often captures the public imagination. Imagine another universe just like ours, but where history played out differently. Maybe in that universe, you made different choices, leading to a completely different life. This concept often appears in science fiction, but some interpretations of quantum mechanics, like the many worlds interpretation, suggest that parallel universes could be real. These theories are all attempts to answer some of the biggest questions in cosmology. Is our universe unique, or is it just one of many in a vast multiverse? The answers to these questions could change our understanding of reality itself. Let's now delve into a fascinating concept that arises from the idea of a multiverse, the concept of immortality. 
This idea is often explored through a thought experiment known as the quantum suicide or immortality experiment. Imagine a scenario where you're playing a deadly game of chance, like flipping a coin where heads means you survive and tails means you die. In the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics, there's a 50% chance you'll die with each flip. However, in the many worlds interpretation, each flip causes the universe to split into two, one where you survive and one where you die. As you can only experience the universes where you're alive, it would seem from your perspective that you're somehow immortal, always finding yourself in the universe where the coin lands on heads. This is a rather unsettling implication of the many worlds interpretation and a topic of much philosophical debate. Moving on, we reach the concept of a level 4 multiverse as proposed by physicist Max Tegmark. This is the most abstract and general type of multiverse. In a level 4 multiverse, all structures that exist mathematically also exist physically. This means that any conceivable universe that can be described by mathematical structures exists in the level 4 multiverse. This concept is somewhat similar to the simulation hypothesis, which suggests that our reality might be a computer simulation. In a level 4 multiverse, our universe could be seen as a mathematical structure that is running in the multiverse. However, unlike the simulation hypothesis, there's no need for a higher level universe running a simulation in the level 4 multiverse. Instead, all mathematical structures exist independently and equally, with no need for a base reality. The level 4 multiverse represents the ultimate ensemble of all possible universes, encompassing all other types of multiverses. It's a concept that pushes the boundaries of our understanding and challenges our perception of reality. As we delve deeper into the concept of the multiverse, it's important to acknowledge the controversies and debates that surround it. The idea of a multiverse pushes the boundaries of our understanding and challenges the very definition of what we consider to be science. Some physicists argue that the multiverse is a legitimate prediction of our best theories, like inflationary cosmology and quantum mechanics. They see the multiverse as an inevitable consequence of these theories and believe that it offers a potential solution to some of the biggest mysteries in physics. However, other physicists are more skeptical. They argue that the concept of a multiverse is unscientific because it cannot be tested or falsified. If other universes are fundamentally unobservable, they argue, then the existence of a multiverse is not a question that can be answered by science. These debates reflect the different philosophical viewpoints within the physics community. They highlight the tension between what we can observe and what our theories predict, a tension that lies at the heart of theoretical physics. The concept of a multiverse takes us on a journey beyond the known universe and into the realms of the infinite. It challenges our understanding of reality and forces us to confront the possibility that our universe might be just one of many. While the idea of a multiverse is still the subject of ongoing research and debate, it represents one of the most exciting and controversial areas in modern physics. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the cosmos, who knows what other surprises the universe, or should we say multiverse, has in store for us? If you've enjoyed this journey through the multiverse and want to continue exploring the mysteries of our universe, don't forget to subscribe to Mission Universe.